Hi, good morning everyone. Today I'd like to have a look at one of the um, items that I came across while doing some exercises in a textbook. And I'd like to highlight for you a way that you can get around one of the limitations of um, Advanced Steel, Autodesk Advanced Steel. Now for those of you that are not familiar with Autodesk Advanced Steel, it's an AutoCAD, what is known as an AutoCAD Vertical which is built on top of the application programming interface of AutoCAD. In other words, it's using AutoCAD's um, abilities in the background. And then here we've got all sorts of interesting um, commands and members that we can draw with steel fabrication. So if it doesn't look familiar for you, to you, uh, don't let that bother you. This is just one of the AutoCAD verticals uh, with uh, advanced steel being for steel fabrication. And I'd like to highlight for those of you that are starting out on this journey, and I know there's quite a few of you, then we're going to do the uh, polygon contour command. It's a plate editing command. And what we can see on the screen here is that we've busy, um, we've just started modeling a plate over here, and we've cut off corners, and now we'd like to create some other opening in the middle of the plate over here. But following along in the textbook is not that clear, so I'd just like to highlight some of the limitations. Alright, so the command is to modify the plate by polygon contour. And essentially what they're saying is, is we'd like to offset into the middle a flange of about 2 inches. And then also fill it that flange with a quarter inch radius. So if I invoke the command, as usual on the command line you'll read the... Um, the, the recommendation about what to do next here please identify the plate to be modified near a corner we can say this plate and then it says please specify a start point so what it's wanting us to do is to draw a polyline indicating the shape that is acting as a reference We've still got the close sub command over there and then I can input a 2 inch offset, in this case the minus 2, because that would be towards the inside. Have a look at if I put uh, positive 2, what that would result in. Okay, so we're going with a minus 2. And then we'd like to change here that it's not a chamfered cut but a radius of 1 upon 4 but you'll see how it sets itself back to 0 every time so it's not allowing us with the negative offset to input the quarter radius and also it's uh, interpreting plus 2 as, as 2. So we've got a bit of a problem over here in that we'd, we'd like to indicate that we're going to have this radius. But it's not allowing us to input this radius to create a radius on the inside there. So there's really only one way around this. And that is that one would have to uh, create some cons construction lines and go from there. So let me undo these things coming group commands. So it will be around there. A little bit further. There we go, this is where we started. So what I'd recommend you do is get the properties showing here. So I'm just going to draw in layer 0, it's easy enough. And then I'm going to create X lines, or what they call construction lines pressing F8. So I've got two construction lines there and two construction lines there and then we're going to offset these by two inches. The modify commands you'll actually find on here
and that now represents the the two inch offset that we need so the next thing that we'd like to do is to start the command again we'd like to make sure that we've got our intersection running object snap on so it will snap to the intersection over there at this point and at that point and at that point and at that point and this time around we don't need to uh, indicate the offset at all and we're still choosing this plate the polyline is now going to be on the offset that we drew and now it will allow us to input a radius so the algorithm doesn't work in all instances but if we do a bit of construction and some extra work then we can definitely achieve the result that's required there we can see the end result and we have achieved success so we've cut this interior hole out of the plate but we were unable to use the the polyline contour command but because we did some construction lines we were able to achieve that ultimately I hope you have enjoyed the short demonstration for those of you that's never seen advanced steel before this might be quite new and for those of you that have uh, just a way for you to get around that limitation in that algorithm until next time enjoy advanced steel